Today I'm going to show you how to install the new version of PS Housing that has IPL and MLO support. I'll leave a link to the resource and other helpful things in the description. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. Once you're there, scroll down to the README section and you'll find information about the resource with the features, previews, pictures, and so on. I'm going to go to the installation section with the install guides and the dependencies and begin by downloading PS Realtor. So right click and open it in a new tab. I go to the latest under releases and download it. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources and add it in. Then rename it and remove the numbers from the end. Then go back to the README and repeat the process for the other dependencies. Okay. If you don't have Oxlib in a target system, make sure you download it. And after you have all the dependencies, go back up and download the actual resource. Once you have everything, go to your server config and ensure it. The ensure order is important and can be found in the README. They all need to start after Oxlib and from there ensure PS Realtor, PS Housing, and 5 and Precam. The last thing I'll do in here is add the convar for dynamic doors, which can be found in the README. It's optional and there's also a preview that shows what it is. So copy the convar here, go back to your server config and add it, then hit file and save. Next, you need to run the SQL however you do. I left a link in the description to a video made by Anna that shows multiple methods. Next, go back to the README and to the installation section. Then choose the guide based on your framework. So under QB Core, I'll right click and open in a new tab. And the first edits are in QB multi character, so copy this here. Then go to your resources and into the QB folder. Find QB multi character. Go into the server folder and open the main.lua. And then once you're in there, use Control and F and search for load user data. And once you found it, highlight all of it and paste what you copied. Then go back to the README and the next edit is right below. So just copy it. Then go back to the server main.lua, highlight everything and paste what you copied again. Then hit file and save. The next edit is in QB multi character again, but it's in the client this time. So copy the block of code here. Go back to the QB multi character folder, then go into the client folder and open the main.lua. And then use Control and F to search for spawn last location. Highlight everything and then paste what you copied. Then hit file and save. Next, you need to remove this line from the FX manifest. So again, go back to the QB multi character folder, open the FX manifest.lua, find where it says QB apartments config.lua, and remove that. Then hit file and save. The next edit is in QB spawn, so copy the block of code, then go back to the QB folder and find QB spawn, go into the client.lua. And then use Control and F to search for setup spawns. And once you've found it, highlight all of it and paste what you copied. Then go back and copy the next section. And then search for choose APA. Highlight all of it and paste what you copied. 
and then copy the next one. Go back and search for Spawn Player. Then cycle through until you find this one. It's at 171 for me. Then highlight all of it and paste what you copied. Then hit File and Save. The next edit is in QB Spawn but server side. So copy the code. Go back to the QB Spawn folder. Open the server.lua. And then replace this with what you copied. And then again, remove this line from the FX manifest in QB Spawn. And save it. The next edit is in QB Garages. There are two versions for this. I'm going to use the second one. If you start to do the edits and the code isn't there, use the other version. So I'll copy the code under replace. Then go back to the QB folder and find QB Garages. Go into the server folder and open the main.lua. Then use Ctrl and F to search for CAN deposit. And find the line here if type equals house. Highlight all of it and paste what you copied, then hit file and save. Then copy the next section of code. Go back into QB Garages, into the client folder, and open the main.lua. Then use Ctrl and F again for add house garage. And then under that event, paste what you copied, then hit File and Save. And the last thing to do again is remove this line from the FX manifest. So back to the QB Garages folder, open the FX manifest.lua, and remove the line. I don't have it in here, but if you do, make sure you remove it. And the next things to do are delete QB apartments and QB houses. So go back to the QB folder and find QB apartments and delete it. Then find QB houses and delete that as well. Then go to QB phone. And to the FX manifest. And remove the line for the apartments. Then make sure you remove this line from any script that has it in the FX manifest. And we'll move on to QB door lock. So go back to the resource folder, into the README install instructions, into QB core, into QB door lock, into the server folder and copy the main.lua. Then go back to the QB folder and find QB door lock. Go into the server folder. Delete the main.lua and paste the one you copied. The next thing to do is look at the configs. I'm going to start with PS Realtor. So back to your resources and find the resource folder. Then go into the shared folder and open the config.lua. Every option has commented out text that explains what it's for. The main thing I'm going to focus on is using the tablet. So if you want to use the tablet, change false to true next to use item. Then go back to your resources and find the QB folder. Then go into QB core, shared, and open the items.lua. Once you're in there, use Ctrl and F to search for the tablet. And make sure the uniqueness and usability are set to true. The last thing to look at is the config for PS housing. So go back to the resource folder. Go into the shared folder and open the config. At the top, change the options based on what you use. The only thing I'll be changing here is the inventory since I don't use aux inventory. Below that, you have an option for edit access. With it set to true, anyone with keys to the property can edit the furniture. Then you have an option for the log system, which I'll show in a moment, and the option for dynamic doors. If you want to use dynamic doors, change this to true. And make sure you added the convar in the server config. 
Next are options for police and raiding. You have the police job names, the lowest rank that can raid, a timer, the item, which is a storm ram, and the option for the item to be taken when police make entry. Below that are the real estate job names, an option for funds to go directly into the real estate account, and commission based on the job grade. The last things deal with players starting with an apartment, the actual apartments, the shelves, and the furniture. If you made changes, be sure to hit file and save, then I move on to creating the webhook for the logs. In the readme, go to the log system setup section and copy the code here. Then go back to your resources and into the QB folder. Find QB small resources. Go into the server folder and open the logs.lua. Then paste what you copied. To get the Discord webhook, go to Discord and create a channel. I'm going to call it housing. Once the channel is created, go to Edit Channel, Integrations, and then create the webhook. Once it's created, copy the webhook. Go back to QB Small Resources and paste what you copied. Then hit File and Save. That's all you need to do. You can start your server and test it out. When you join the server, use the commands Migrate Apartments and Migrate Houses. To convert the previous properties. I'll also mention players need to set their stash and wardrobe when they join. So I'll use F1 for the radio menu or Z if you chose the aux one. Go into the furniture menu and then find the storage unit. And you can move it with the arrows and there are more options over here. I'll just add it to the cart and then purchase it. And then I'll put the wardrobe in here. So again, in the furniture menu, then find wardrobe, move it around, add that one to the cart as well, and then purchase it. And then I'll just go over here and open the stash. Now when you leave the property, there are some options that show up. You can enter, see all the apartments, or raid, which is the police option. Again, you can change the grade and options for that in the config. I do have a house MLO in here, so I'll go over there and show how to set it up. When creating the property, you should need one of the real estate jobs, which could be set and found in the config. The default one is called real estate, so I'll go ahead and set my job. And I'll make the grade 4. I'll also mention there's information on how to create the properties in the readme. So to open the menu, you can do slash housing if you chose to use the command and it brings it up. Or you can use the item, which is the tablet. Then you have the properties. There are none, the apartments and the ability to create them. So I'll go ahead and create one for this MLO behind me. By choosing the property type, I'll leave it as MLO. Then go ahead and create the zone. For this, I'm going to make the zone the whole perimeter. So I'll start over here and go all the way around. It's C to set the points. I'll keep doing that. And once it's done, you can scroll to change the height. This has multiple stories, so I'll make it taller to cover everything. And then H to finish. You can also use K to edit the points. So now that's done, I'll move on to creating the door by clicking set under door creation. And I'll add the one behind me. Now it's not a double door, so I'll just hit cancel. If it was, you'd hit confirm. And then I'll move on to the garage creation. Like it tells you, it's best to be in a vehicle, but I'm just going to put it over here for now. And for the description, I'm just going to call it Mountain House. And for the price, I'll do 100. And after you have everything done, hit Create Property and let you know it was created. If you go to the Properties section, you should now see the property you created for the price saying it's for sale and with the pictures.
If you view the property, it has that information as well. You can also set a waypoint to it. Then you have the option to manage the property, which is where you can change the settings. So you can change whether it's for sale or not, sell it to a person, change the description and price, add images, remove the garage location, or add a new one. So I'll go closer to the door and sell it to myself. And the confirmation comes up, so I'll go ahead and purchase it. Let you know it was purchased and that money was removed. When you have the real estate job, you'll be able to see all the options on the door. So you can enter, showcase it, and look at the property info, which shows the owner, the price, the location, whether it's for sale or not, and the description. So I'm going to change my job to show the difference. And if you look again, there's just the option to enter. And then you can manage the property, so give access or revoke it. Then edit the furniture with the furniture menu. This is already furnished, so I'm just going to go into the kitchen and add um, some random utensil or something. So I'll go into the furniture menu and then go to the kitchen section. And you can cycle through the items. And I'll just choose the utensils. And you can move them with the arrows uh, by dragging or use this menu on the side here. I'm going to leave them floating and add it to the cart. Go to the cart and then purchase it. And there they are floating. Another thing I'll show is the apartment with the IPL, which is called Modern One Apartment. And it's over here. My apartment is currently in South Rockford. So to change that, I'll go into the housing menu. Then go to apartments. And once you're here, you can see how many people have the apartment or live there. So I'll go to the one I want, which is the Modern One and then add myself and let you know the apartment was changed. So I'll go ahead and go in. It's over here. I think it's this door. This one is very nice, has a nice view and there's another store you can check out. That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed it and it helped you out, please leave a like and a sub. If you need help or have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.